Hey, 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 guys, this is Hawkeye, and I am back with another episode of Ice Lakes. And most of the time when I've been fishing, I've been focusing on either the balance lures or some of the other more common types of lures. And they've been adding a bunch of different types as of late. And some of the new ones that they've added that I don't know if you guys have looked at, um, obviously we've got the spoons now. These are awesome. There's the verticals, but the spoons I've been using a little bit. I think I've shown you the autumn leaves, the carrot parade, the grasshopper. The spinner I have not shown. And there's quite a few of these, and each are specific for different types of species. But I think what I'm going to do this time, guys, we are going to go on a little pike expedition here, a little pike challenge. And... I'm going to use some of these other lures instead of the balance lures so much. And I might, oh, if I do use a balance lure, I am going to use this new one that I just recently purchased, which is also specific for the pike. So we'll see how that works. Anyway, let's go ahead and see if we can't win this competition. Last time I came in second place, and I've got a little bit of, you know, I've got to prove myself a little bit here. <laughs> but I tell you, I think what we're going to do is we're going to go to one of the spots that the pike get pretty big. And the west coast, that's where they get the biggest, I think. Let me go ahead and set this up for morning in the winter and for 30 minutes. And we are going to be fishing for the total amount of pike. So... Number of pike? No, we're not going with number of pikes. We're going total weight of only pike. All right, let's go ahead and get this started. Huge lake, guys. So, all right, I already know where I'm going to go to start off with. Now I'm hoping that I have the same kind of luck I had here last time. Right here, the entrance of this little bay. Now I need to make sure yet. Let's see, I've got my heavy standard drill, so let's go ahead and get it going. Nice and deep. Now the thing about fishing for pike is to make certain that once you catch one, you need to move. You need to keep moving, drill new holes, and start over. Now we're going to start off with this Caribbean, I believe is what it's called. And I think I'll just go ahead and stick with the trout jam. And I've got my superior rod here. Now remember, the pike like an up and down mo movement, so hopefully we'll get a decent sized one. The only thing we got to remember is these other guys are getting decent sized ones too. You can lose these competitions even though it's a computer. That doesn't make any difference. We found that out. Alright, come on. There we go. Took you long enough, you little bugger. There's the first pike. He's not a monster, though. And see, now that we've caught the pike, we got to get up, because you're not going to get any more. All right, 
Let's come over here. Looks like somebody already thought about it. Now we're going to be doing a lot of moving and a lot of drilling. This is the nature of fishing for pike. Alright, I'm going to change lures here real fast. I'm going to go over to this new one called Berry Porridge. It's supposed to be really good for pike as well. We'll see if it is. I am using the meteor hook, which is preferred by pike, just to let you know. I don't think any of the lure is going to make a difference because none of it is listing pike at all. So we're just going to attract the pike through our movements. Come on. We know you're down there. There we go. Okay, this one's bigger than the last one, that's for sure. This one is bigger. Yeah, come on. Come on. Come on, let's see how big you are. Come on. Ooh. This is a nice fish, guys. Oh, crap! It's not the fish I was looking for, but well, he's definitely huge. <laughs> oh man, it's not the fish I was looking for. Hmm. Well, let's try it again. That was a lot of fun. Those 16-pound salmon. Damn. We just gotta, just gotta find him. Now this one's not as big as that last one. That's for sure. But, if it's our pike, then we're going to need to move on. And it is. Eh. He looks kind of pathetic next to the other one, doesn't he? <laughs> Alright, we got to pull stakes again. Alright, looks like they are... Daggone it, does everybody know where my spots are? Ah, jeez. Well, I'll tell you what. We'll we'll go over here. I don't know if it's gonna work. There's so many of them here. And once you know the good spots, everybody's gotta take the good spots. Hmm. <laughs> Let's see if we can catch another one with this guy. Retribution is at hand, guys. We need to reprove ourselves. Although the salmon was nice, it isn't going to do us a whole lot of good. This isn't big either. But it is a pike. Oh, he's a dinky one. What is with the dinky pikes? <laughs> All right, well. Alright, what we're going to do is we're going to go over here. Okay, there's a few people out here where I've fished before, but not as bad as, I've, as it could be, I guess. I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to bypass that. I'm going to come out here to this deep water. 
Because what these guys don't know, the biggest pike I ever caught was right here. do exactly what I did then. The only difference is I'm going to use a different lure. I'm going to switch to this new lure that I have not used. The danger zone. It's a spinner. And I'm going to switch my lures. I know they don't usually go for lures, but... The last time I did this, I used this lure, and maybe it's just superstition, I don't know, but I'm going to try it anyway. I've got 20 minutes. I think I might be work moving around in the deep water, because it seems like they're all hovering close to shore, and I want a big one. I want big ones, big fish, big pike. Uh, it's freezing up already. Alright. This might be decent. Uh, it's hard to tell at this point. No, it's about what we've been catching. It has kind of kind of disappointing here, guys. Kind of disappointing. Let's pull and move a move a little bit more. We're gonna move over here. I'm gonna go right in that little inlet that everybody seems to be ignoring. Oop, I can't. Are you kidding me? Well, heck. This is as close as I can get, I guess. That must be what those cones are about. You can't fish here. You can hear. Well, I'm gonna fish as close as I can get to there, Dagon. Alright, let's drop a little bit of this stuff again. We are going to change lures again back to No, we're not doing danger zone. We're gonna go back to Green Goblin. You know what? Green Goblin. I know I was gonna try some of the new lures, but I never fail with Green Goblin. Green Goblin is the Pike's dream, guys. And it's one of the cheapest lures you can buy, which is nice. And if you want to catch Pike, get you a Green Goblin. Notice I didn't take long. And that's the best one so far. Now, is it luck? I don't know. But, you can't argue with success. Okay, let's go over here. I'm going to see... Right here... A little shallower, but it's still pretty deep. Come on, Greenie. 
swear to God, guys. Should never have deviated from it. Be huge, but we are catching them, that's for sure. We gotta move again. That's the thing, you gotta keep moving. Alright, I'm gonna I'm gonna go real deep this time. Looks like there's been other people around here, so I'm gonna try to get to an area that has not been violated. They sure make this drilling of the ice look easy. Truth of the matter is it's not from what I've been told. But apparently they've got electric augers or gas powered augers that you could use. They'll do that in no time. There we go. This one may be a little bigger. It's taken me a while to get him up. Yep, he's the biggest one so far. I don't know why I always do that. It's a habit. <laughs> All right. It's not like I need to scoop it out at this point. All right. I'm going to move a little bit more. Come over here and we'll drill again. Ooh, we are at the rock bottom here, guys. 151 feet. You can see the success of using this green goblin with the pike. They absolutely love it. I think it's odd. There we go. Okay, this one's good size. This one's Pretty good size. He's not making it easy for me. There we go. Still, it just surprises me that they're running around... Three to four pounds. I just I understand that. You'd think they come a little bigger. Okay, we're gonna drill right here. Hopefully, just from the sheer numbers of them, that I've got enough weight. Not sure how many I've got so far, but God, I love this lure. I swear, guys, there's nothing like it. I tell you, if you are fishing for pike, Three pounder. Got six minutes, guys. All right, let's come down here. 
Let's kind of zigzag past these guys. Yeah, I hope they'll let... Nah, they're not going to let me over there. There's the cones. Well, we'll get as close as we can get, because I wanted to get that little outlet. Big guys, whatever. If it is a pike, we're just gonna have to move because this one's not big enough. Yeah, he's tiny. I kn I could tell instantly that he was tiny. Well, I am getting a lot of them. I'm just not getting a lot of bi any big ones. That is a real popular area over there. Which is why I'm going to drill right here. <laughs> They're fishing, you'll catch a lot of them, but they're not very big. They're real small. Not that these aren't huge, but... Maybe I should have gone for the number. <laughs> so I'm definitely getting them. I'm just not getting big ones. Okay, we're going to go a little bit further and then we're going to drill again. Three minutes, 30 seconds, guys. It's almost over. We'll see how well we did. Ho 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 ho! Wow. This one is big. This is big. Now, I hope this is a pike, guys. If this is a pike, this is going to be a monster. Wow, he is fighting too. Check it out. Oh gosh, he's kind of... He's not going to be easy to get out of here. He is not going to be easy to get out of here. And I've got two minutes left. He's... Holy crikeys! <laughs> Holy crikeys! 19.28 pounds, guys. No, 19.48. Holy crikeys! Oh my lord, I'm, I'm so excited I don't know what to do with myself. <laughs> oh man. Beat that. There's no way they're going to beat that. I'm going to do one more drill. Got a tiny bit of time here. Nineteen point four eight pounds, guys.
Gotta make this quick. We got 30 seconds, but we're real, real close to the starting gate, so. That is my record, guys. I have never caught one that big. And we're going to top it off with this last one. Assuring that we've won this. And he's a little pounder, but we don't care. We don't care. We don't care. <laughs> oh, I love it. That was amazing. I mean, I was just in awe of the size of that thing. I was half expecting another large salmon, I, to be honest. I was like, oh, shoot, it's going to be a salmon. Then I'm going to be like, oh, it's a big salmon. You know. We are cutting this close, people. We are cutting this a little on the close side. There we go. That, my friends, was a contest. That was a... What is he doing? I wasn't trying to do that. Guess I wanted to drill it one last time, and of course I came in first place. I don't see how I couldn't have. 48.98 pounds. 13, I got the best number, and I got the best and the biggest fish. 48.98 pounds total. Yeah, if I hadn't have gotten that last one, I prob well, no, I still would have gotten it. But barely. So this was not, you know, this wasn't like a, a, you know, blew it out of the water. That last one made all the difference, guys. I hope you enjoyed that episode. I certainly did. I mean, that was awesome. Anyway, guys, please be sure to share, comment, like, subscribe, and I will be back with another episode of Ice Lakes. So until then, I will see you later. Bye-bye.